Superstorm Sandy has brought the populated east coast of America to a virtual standstill. One of the biggest storms ever to hit the United States. The storm's target area include big population centers such as New York City, Washington, Baltimore and Philadelphia. Meanwhile, President Obama and Republican challenger Mitt Romney have been forced to alter the final events of their campaigns as the storm hits the east coast just a week ahead of the presidential elections. This is going to be a big and powerful storm. Eight days before election day, Hurricane Sandy has forced both President Barack Obama and his Republican challenger Mitt Romney to alter or cancel planned campaign events. Obama returned to Washington on Monday from Florida and went directly to a White House Situation Room briefing on the storm. New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg has advised New Yorkers to try and stay indoors, telling them to watch out for the arrival of the storm. Mandatory evacuations are underway in areas in the Hurricane Sandy's path. New York City landmarks are eerily empty. The nation's capital is emptied of government workers. At this stage, I'm not concerned. Um, if, the things, if the wind builds up and the rain starts, then I'll go back to my hotel and, and stay there until the worst is over. Airlines around the world have cancelled flights to and from the northeast United States due to growing threat from the deadly hurricane. They don't know how long it's going to be before airports open, but uh, we hope to be on our way certainly as soon as we can. And as the Frankenstorm borders the East Coast, the world's largest stock exchange too is shut. They've also closed down the New York Stock Exchange in anticipation of the storm. In fact, this is the first time in 27 years that the New York Stock Exchange has been closed because of weather issues. A superstorm that could generate flash floods, snowstorms and massive power outage from North Carolina to Maine. And America is bracing for the worst. Right now, you know, we're going to stay here, so uh, we should be fine. We're here for the last one as well. It wasn't a big, big problem. When it comes to life, you know, everything, you know, takes a risk, you know. But um, I'm a bit, you know, concerned. In a few hours from now, there will be landfall. America and the world now brace for what many experts term could be the worst storm in world history. Bureau Report, Times Now.